Preloaders, VI Preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. And you know this, or at least you should. And what you should also know is where I am. Yes, I'm at the Dragon. Now, ever since last year, I said I wanted to ride this by myself so I could ride it the way I want to ride it. Um, now, that doesn't mean I want to fly through it because that's not what you should be doing on this anyway, right? So, what I do want to emphasize is this road gets a bad rap and by that I mean a lot of people say that the tail of the dragon is a dangerous road and the road's not dangerous but the riders are and that's for more than one reason part of it is um, people ride riding or driving recklessly um, but there's another proponent to that and that's people that are riding beyond their motorcycles limit people that are riding beyond their skill limit and combination of the two okay so i just want to ride this road i want to give you guys the perspective uh as far as the vantage point that i love and that's what my 360 camera i'm um, hanging from the back so you can kind of see me as i ride almost looking like a gta style grand theft auto for those of you that know what gta is um and i just want to have some fun so you guys know i'm here for a practice session but i said to myself if i'm in this area again I definitely had to do this and I got up extremely early in the morning to come back here and do this to make sure I get it in all right guys so I'm sorry for those of you that don't know who I am my name's Robert I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant and the name of my channel is called Robert Simmons paying it forward and on this channel I primarily focus on sharing my knowledge experience and training that I received from the elite NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle unit with you guys the motorcycle riding community right and I want to share that with you guys we do practice sessions, we do private lessons, and anything and everything that I feel is beneficial to you guys, always gonna share it, all right? So when I ride here, on this ride, it's not gonna be slow speed maneuvers, they're always relevant, but here, I'm gonna be focusing more on looking through turns, right? So again, if you don't practice something, you're not gonna be as good at it, as simple as that. And where I'm from, the roads are all straight. So the first time I rode this road, I remember, feel, I felt like I was concentrating extra hard, extra hard, looking through the turns because I'm not accustomed to doing it. So I'm looking forward to doing that um, and just enjoying this road. And I am going to say this to you guys. Uh, 129 North, that's what I took to get here. Oh my God. I even had fun driving that, pulling my trailer because it's a challenge. And I was like, oh my God. That's just a, 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 a small, small piece of the absolutely amazing roads that are out here. You can see there's a lot of motorcycles out here. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so I'm gonna get to it. Let's do it, guys. All right, guys, so right off the bat, slow speed maneuvers always come in handy, right? So right here, I want you guys to let me know, what exercise um, am I doing right here? Remember, if you look, my motorcycle's on gravel, right? This is exercise number four, and this is why I tell you guys, do it nice and slow and don't lean the motorcycle because that skill is going to come in handy and if you're on a gravel road absolutely all right so guys i'm not going to play any music while i'm riding on the dragon i want you guys to experience it the way i experienced it i want you to see what i see and i want you to hear what i hear particularly these awesome tab performance 50 caliber pipes with the zombie baffles they just sound great um now when i pull out of here guys Something else I want you to focus on because I see so many people make this turn to get on the dragon and they go over the double yellow line. You can see here, plenty of room to make this turn, but I see it all the time. So uh, you look at, uh, if, if anybody has ever been to this road um, or even yourself, if you know that you've pulled out of here and made this turn so wide that you're over the double yellow line, Something I want you to think about, right? It just shows that you need to practice more. And that's what this is all about.
So again, guys, as I stated, I want you to experience this as I experienced it. So I'm not going to time lapse it. I'm not going to fast forward it. This way, based on the speed that I'm riding, you're going to see approximately how long it takes to ride this dragon from the North Carolina side to the Tennessee side. Of course, there's traffic signs, speed signs to let you know. You're not going to be surprised that the turn is coming up. But I also put uh, my GPS on so I can kind of see the, the road and when the curves are coming up. Like right here, you got a speed sign, 15 miles per hour. And that's a U-turn, not a U-turn, but a U-shaped turn. So that's not really a suggestion. 15 miles per hour, I was going a little bit faster than that, but not much. Speed is not your friend in a lot of places. Here comes another 15-foot turn. These are a lot of fun. Definitely helping me practice looking through the turn. So a lot of fun. And you guys are going to see that um, there was a pickup truck that was riding in front of these cars. And it just, it, he was going so slow that I couldn't really ride the way I wanted to ride. And it's, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's funny to me that I'm annoyed that somebody's driving on this road. The speed limit. <laughs> this is not a racetrack, right? This is a road, and I think the highest speed limit is 30 miles per hour. So, um, but you know, I learned that I actually learned why people ride this road, this road, so many times in a day because you want to get a good run when nobody's in your way. I also learned that even if I have a clear run, if you guys watch the bonus um, part of this video, which is going to be me riding back to the North Carolina part of the dragon I had a nice clear run in the beginning but if you're really if you're really running well um, nine times out of ten you're gonna wind up catching up to somebody that's going slow and then that's gonna slow you down so it's luck of the draw if somebody in front of you is riding as fast as you or faster then you're just gonna have a, a, a clear run the whole time and the next time I go back I'm gonna when I have more time that's what that's what I'm gonna do um, I want to get a clean run where I can go exactly the speed I want to. Like right here, this is way too slow, way too slow. This car is going to get out of my way. And then the car that I'm going to catch up to was killing me with the exhaust. <laughs> but um, all right, enough talking. I want you to listen to these tab performance. They sound good and they look great. This is why I love this camera angle, guys. Look at those cannons. Oh, my gosh. Guess how many times I use my rear brake while riding the Dragon? The answer is zero. Zero. Remember, I only use my rear brake 10 miles per hour or less, right? And I'm not going as fast as I want to be going, but I'm damn sure going faster than 10 miles per hour. So along with practicing looking through the turns, I'm also practicing my trail braking, right? Grab that nice and easy on that front brake as you're going through the turn. You don't want to be accelerating through these turns because that's going to push you out wide. And this is definitely not a road you want to be going out wide, crossing the double yellow line, or on the other side, going over a cliff. Squeeze that front brake, brake, front brake, front brake. That's also, again, you're not squeezing it nice and gentle as you're going around the turn. Actually, before you even get to the turn, you should be squeezing it, depending on your speed. 
you know, all of this stuff depends on what's going on with the motorcycle. All right, that's going to add some weight to the front of the motorcycle. It's going to increase that patch of the front tire, giving you more grip. Um, so all of these things are important, and, I'm, I'm, and I love, love, love practicing them. Remember, I told you guys, practicing is a state of mind. So if you're riding this road and you're just riding with your head in the clouds, you know, that's one thing. But if you're actually concentrating on saying to yourself, you see me pointing right there, I'm going to look through that turn, right? And then I purposely would get up to a certain speed to allow me to be able to trail brake because at this speed I don't even need to I can just engine brake through the turn By the way guys, the highest gear I got up to while riding the Dragon is third gear. And most people won't even get to third, right? So just keep that in mind. There's that pickup truck. You're killing me, dude. <laughs> Okay, so right here I'm going to slow down purposely just to kind of let these cars get a little bit ahead of me just so I can get into the throttle a little bit and I'm going to do this a couple of more times um, because it was killing me. Guys, this is why it's always important to be looking through the turns. Anytime you see me come close to that double yellow line, that's because I'm already looking way ahead and I see nothing's coming, so it's okay for me to be there. I'm not looking down and right in front of me. I'm not looking at the car in front of me in a turn. I'm looking through that turn. I already see what's happening and I can, you know, do what I need to do based on what's happening. So if nothing's happening, I'm good to go. You're also going to notice the whole time I rode this dragon, my footboards didn't scrape the ground once. And I learned that out in Arizona with Cal Weinman, Travis, these guys. If, if my floorboards were scraping the ground on that racetrack, it's because I was going too fast in the turn. 
So um, that was definitely a good uh, lesson. Some people like hearing the floorboard scrape. It makes them feel good. Like, oh, I scraped my boards today. But like I always tell people, if you scrape your boards going eight miles per hour, that's something to be proud of. That's an accomplishment. Doing it at high speed, you know, anybody can really do that. So again, we're not out here trying to prove anything to anybody, but it's just important. I felt it was important to let you guys know that. Scraping the boards when the motorcycle is moving fast in a turn, it means you're going too fast in the turn. That's why you have to lean the motorcycle that much. And that's one of the biggest issues on this Dragon. People start leaning and leaning. Instead of them trail braking, slowing down, they see they're still not gonna make it. So they lean more and they wind up leaning the motorcycle beyond its lean limits. I'm talking about a motorcycle like the kind that I'm riding. And that's the kind of accidents that you see. And those accidents are very dangerous because you know, if somebody doing something like that coming in the opposite direction can make a very bad day for you by sliding across the road into you or into your, your path. As you can see right here, I'm telling the cars behind me that I'm slowing down. And they know why I'm slowing down. So, like, it was no issue. Um, everybody wants to kind of, well, let me not say everybody, but there are people out there that want to ride and drive this road a certain way. And somebody going really slow is going to hinder that. So, there's a thumbs up. That was very disappointing. Like I caught up to them too fast. <laughs> so I feel like I need I should wait longer. I should come to like a complete stop. <laughs> I just love Valiant. I love the way this motorcycle looks. I love the solo seat so I can look at the entire rear fender. I love this paint job. I love the way the vertical lights look. I love the 5.0 caliber tab performance pipes. I just love this whole look. I love this camera angle. I just appreciate this so much. I was dying to do this to share this with you guys. There we go. Slow it down again. But see, now I learned. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. And then I can kind of get into it. And these are the only times I was really able to get up to like third gear. Again, not long enough. I, can, I feel like I'm not going to see that yellow car for a little while and then bam, there it is right in front of me again. <laughs> try this one more time slow it down and let me tell you something guys if you think this road is challenging on a motorcycle try doing it pulling a trailer and making sure you don't go over that double yellow line and making sure the trailer tires don't go over on the right side because I did that too and that was fun for me too I love a challenge At the 
end of the day, guys, I can't stress this enough. Ride your own ride. If you want to ride this dragon at 15 miles per hour the whole time you're on it, then that's what you do. Because either people will go around you or you can just pull to the side a little bit and let them pass you, which is what most people do. All right? Ride your own ride and enjoy your own ride. Right, I think this is the last time that I'm going to slow down, try to let these cars get ahead of me some more so I can get into it. Now these cars are going to eventually get out of the way, um, and then the only thing that's going to still be on the road is the thing that was causing the problem the whole time, and that's the pickup truck, and I'm just going to lose my patience and go around him. Thumbs up. Let's do it.
right, guys, so I'm, I'm at the end of the drag and I'm on the Tennessee side. So this is the side headed towards North Carolina. So I'm gonna have to go back there because that's where my trailer is. But you see this sign says, motorcycles, high crash area, next 11 miles, right? Um, and everybody puts their stickers on there. I'm not gonna put one of my stickers there. Uh, and there's Valiant right there. So guys, at the end of the day, I used to always say this while I was working and responding to accidents. Don't play on the road you don't know. If you know the road and you know what curve is coming up and you know how sharp the curve is, then you can be a little bit more aggressive. But when you don't know, take it easy. Um, I, as you can see, I lost my patience uh, being behind that truck. He wouldn't get off and he finally got, I had to just go around him. Um, but now look at this, the whole time I've been talking to you guys, Look how long it's been since a car came. That's what you kind of want. You know, I, I kind of want to get into the leans and stuff. I'm looking through the curves. Oh man, I love that. That's just so much, so much fun, guys. Anyway, so I'm going to head back up the Dragon, down the Dragon, whatever, um, and get my, uh, put this back in the trailer and um, head over to Bootlegger Holly Davidson. I'm gonna record going back as well. I'll put that in as bonus for this video. All right, guys. All right, guys, listen. I appreciate you guys. If you got anything out of this video, you guys doing a burnout over there on the road glide. Ties are warm now, if they weren't. If these ties weren't warm before, they're warm now, baby. All right, anyway, guys, um, I hope this video helped you out. Please, if you like this video or any content that I give you guys, like, subscribe. Definitely subscribe, guys. That definitely helps me out. Likes as well. Comment, share. And if you want to be notified of future videos I do, hit that notification bell, guys. Switch it to all. All right, guys. Remember, say it all the time. I'm going to kind of beat these guys out because I know they're going back. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. And if you have time to ride, you have time to practice. This is Robert Simmons from Robert Simmons Painted Forward, Taylor the Dragon. Peace, guys. guys so on the way back up or down the dragon whatever um, I'm gonna have a pretty good run but like I told you if somebody else is running slower than you you're gonna catch up to him and I caught up to um, a guy on a motorcycle I think it was a guy it looked like a kid or a female I don't know um, small in stature but they were riding with somebody else and they were riding in a, at a good clip too both of them one guy I think was on a, a, a limited ultra limited um, I don't know what kind of motorcycle the person was on in front of me but yeah, that definitely slowed me down. But again, they weren't really going slow. I just wanted to go a little bit faster than what they were going. So once that car got out of my way, you see me putting my finger up. I'm like, yeah, baby, let's do it. So I'm going to get into it here. But you're going to see, I'm going to point at the speed sign right here. Don't get too crazy, Rob. 15 miles per hour. Slow your ass down. Trail break through this turn. Trail big, trail big, trail big, trail big. Nice and easy. Still nothing scraping. And looking through the turn is so important. Because right here, I'm going to show you guys. Right here, I'm looking through this turn. So that's actually letting me know when to start leaning the motorcycle. Obviously, if you lean the motorcycle too late, that's when you're gonna wind up in the woods, right? If you're going too fast and you lean too late, but you look through this turn, it's gonna dictate when you should start leaning the motorcycle based on the speed that you're going.
also just to let you guys know yes I'm trail braking I'm using the front brake only but I'm also engine braking I'm letting that engine slow that motorcycle down and finishing it off with the front brake in those turns Okay, and there's the motorcycle in front of me, and I'm pretty much going to be with them all the way back to the parking lot at Deals Gap um, because I had no opportunity to go around them, you know. And like I said, they were not going really slow, so it wasn't worth uh, taking the risk trying to go around them. Uh, but yep, so all of that speed you guys just saw is going to go down a little bit now. And that's fine. Like I said at the end of this video, what, what, well, what you're going to hear, probably a blessing in disguise. So I know that there's some people that say when I use the Insta360 camera that it gives them vertigo. And I know that my wife is one of those people, but that's really relevant when I'm like making uh, turns, U-turns and stuff like that. I get it. But you guys have to admit this camera angle is just, it's just outstanding. I mean, I, I love it all the time, but especially on stuff like this. So do me a favor, put in the comment section what you think about this camera angle. It is just awesome.
Alright guys, once again, I'm approaching the gravel road. So if we're on a gravel road, we're going to go nice and easy. Keep that motorcycle straight up and down. If we got to make a turn, straight up and down. Remember, putting your foot down on a gravel road is not a good idea, even more so than on a paved road. You're not going to have the footing. Heavy motorcycle. Alright guys, so once again, I couldn't ride it exactly the way I wanted to because of this guy on the motorcycle in front of me and you know it is what it is Some, it's probably a blessing and a blessing in disguise to keep me going at a speed that's not you know too fast not that i would i'm not going to ride faster than i should be but i did want to go a little bit faster especially on the areas where i actually could anyway i'm grateful that i'm okay looking valiant loaded back up a lot of lessons out there today a lot of lessons a few times i went a little bit wide going a little bit too fast you know but that's that's what i mean when i say don't play on the road you don't know right so and the other lesson was people ask me all the time but well, what about gravel well as you can see nothing but gravel here so of course when i pulled in here and i made the turn to get right here straight up that's why we need to be able to ride our motorcycles straight up we need to be able to turn them straight up exercise number four